Hello YouTube friends. Today in our little advent series I'm going to make two things. I'm going to make some little um, garlands just to hang up on the Christmas tree or round and about and I'm also going to make some um, like ribbony tape to wrap around Christmas presents. So I could have used red card or painted it just with a paintbrush but I decided I would get my gel plate out and print some random patterns in reds and pinks and silver and here's some confetti stars here. Uh, you won't see these patterns at all but it will all make a really lovely um, pinky reddy starry silvery uh, Christmassy garland. So I just like using my gel plate <laughs> You can make marks on it with all sorts of things. Bubble wrap's one of my favourites. And when you use bubble wrap like that, the bubble wrap itself can become uh, something you can print with. So I pressed that onto the cartridge paper. I just had a big sheet of cartridge paper that I cut into the right sizes. I'm going to be cutting this up into smaller pieces. It doesn't actually matter what the design looks like here. So that's what I was doing. Just printing red silver, stars, glitter all over this paper and I left it to dry overnight. Look at that lovely bubble wrap. <laughs> So now I'm sticking the hearts uh, together either side of the red thread. So I've got a, all my little selection of lovely beads there. 
and some quilting clips that uh, I'm going to use to hold them together. Now if you see I'm doing this on my cutting mat so that the heart, that heart there, uh, the tip of it is against the grid there and then I'm placing this one oh maybe an inch and a half above there because I wanted these to look quite uh, uniform uh, when they were finished. You could put them randomly but uh, I wanted them to look um, nicely spaced out. So Norma's just here over my shoulder while I'm doing this little voiceover. Hello Norma. What do you want to say about this then? So I put the two hearts together with this um, Eileen's tacky glue, a couple of clips on and I left them overnight in fact so that they would be really well stuck and then uh, I chose some of the beads to put in between. They look pretty, don't they? 